What's up guys, Jack Stilkari here in Ireland, playing Broken Sword, Director's Cup. Now last time, we met Khan, slash Merlin. We spoke to Maguire, who explained about the big red sports car, and the bloody pixie. And we got, what did we, we got the... It was gem. a large blue gemstone. Important gem, what uh, Khan was looking for. Now, we are going to my favorite place the castle. Hello, friend. Hi, do you speak English? Well, no. Uh, what if I was to say no? An implication of cognizance shrouded in denial. A pretty poser of a paradox, indeed. I gave him the look I'd perfected when I was twelve and was going to be the greatest hypnotist of all time. It was a killer. Are you attempting to hypnotize me, or is it the constipation you're suffering? I was a little out of practice. <laughs> Have a look at my stuff. Does this tool mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Is it used on sheep? No, it's for lifting the covers off drains. Never! How? Well, the end of the tool fits into the hole in the cover. Ah, uh, they'd slip out. Angles are wrong. You'd never do it. I have. I did it in Paris. So... How would you use that on sheep? I suppose you could use it as a... rein in the middle. Put four on each side. Yeah, I can see that. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, but I wouldn't trust him. His eyes are too close together. Look at this nose. Does this false nose mean anything to you? You're a circus clown. <laughs> Look at this snot rag. What do you make of this tissue? That's a sorry sight to wave about in public. <laughs> Would you hand. like to shake my hand? What is this? I don't do that male bond and stuff. Have you any use for this towel? Whatever gave you that idea? Oh dear, oh dear me, no. Matches. What do you make of this matchbook? Seems ordinary enough to me. Do you recognize the name on this card? I can't read that little writing. Touch. What do you think of my flashlight? Those electric lamps are useful but limited in lifespan in my experience. I was given one for my birthday, but it stopped working after a month. Well, the battery was probably drained. What? Nobody told me. I threw it away. <laughs> Don't ask. This is the gem that Pegram found in the castle. So that's what all the fuss was about. I can't see why myself. Why men would fight and steal and kill over a little bauble like that. Well, it's kind of neat the way it sparkles. It's sparkly. What, what can castle? you tell me about the castle? Not much, I'm sorry to say. Most of its history is long forgotten. Ah, but if these old stones could only speak, what stories they'd tell. Stories to make your toes curl and your blood run cold. You know, this castle is said to be over 600 years old. Aye. Have, Have you, you seen Pegram? Professor Pegram? No, he's packed up and gone. Do you happen to know where? Back in England, I suppose. Fair enough. Tell me about this big Did you red happen to car. see a red sports car down on the road? I caught a glimpse of a flash of red on the hill and heard the racket. Sure, it was an awful noise. A sports car, you say? A Ferrari, to be exact. A racing car? And what was it doing here? A poor fella must have been lost. <laughs> the driver of the Ferrari was involved in an accident. Is that so? Yeah. He knocked somebody down outside the bar. What an idiot! How could a thing like that happen? He was traveling too fast. So fast, he ran right under the car? I mean, the car <laughs> was traveling too fast. But you'd have thought the idiot could have heard it coming. Maybe you know the guy who was hit by the Ferrari. His name is Sean Fitzgerald. Oh, I know him all right. That's me nephew, the idiot responsible for the stacking of my hay cart. Was he killed by the car? Oh, no. But he has been abducted. Well, that's a relief now. 
Aren't you going to look for your nephew? What for? From what you say, it's too late. Well, you can report the matter to the police. Better not. Besides, what could they do? Well, they could mount a search. They have only the one bicycle between them. In a question of superior acceleration, I put me money on the Ferrari. Why have, you, well, why have they got bicycles? Come on, get a car. I think you ought to know exactly what Sean has gotten himself into. I'm not sure I want to know. But you're his uncle. His own flesh and blood. You're right, but what can I do? If I'm not here to guard it, some idiot might try to climb the haystack. What a moral dilemma. Stay here and guard this potentially lethal agricultural construction. Or to go off in search of the prodigal nephew, the very man responsible for said hazard. It would need some thinking about. Why, there's no problem. You're I'll right. Stay. Why didn't I think of it before? We'll demolish the haystack. You don't have to demolish the haystack to go look for Sean. I'll stay here in your place and warn anyone who's silly enough to climb it. Marvelous! I think I should start me inquiries in the bar. He strode off in the direction of McDevitt's bar, leaving me to contemplate the stack of hay. In other words, he's going to drink. Let's climb the haystack. The stack of hay stopped, short of the top of the wall. Even if I stretched as far as I could, the wall was out of reach. What I needed was a slice or two of Alice's Wonderland. Right. This from Brightly. Yep. I inserted the end of the lifting key in the mortarless crack and gave it a firm shove. It remained lodged in the wall, jutting out to form a step. I tugged at the lifting key and found it was held quite securely. Hi right then. Let's go see let's go and see if we can find the ghost. Of Lochmar. They got rid of the cutscene. What a bunch of bastards. That cutscene was awesome. Right, so look for him to do this. Um I need to go down there. But you'll ram me and I'll fall over and blah blah blah. I need to get over here to move this. Isn't it over here? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> move so close and then do it? I have to be quick, I know that. Oh no, I didn't care about this. Place. The rope by which the goat was tethered had become tangled on the old plowshare. Change this bit as well. I think. I'm sure it was like you had to go over here to a certain point and then he would ram and click on that and then you would run over it and move it and then he would ram again but you wouldn't fall over. How dare they take out all the good stuff. Oh, they didn't take out this cutscene. I'm annoyed, that's not fair. Right then. The statue was too heavy to lift. It overbalanced into the sand. Is it still wet? It was a rectangle of toweling printed with the words Nagopaline Stout Builds Body. The towel was soaked through with water. Yeah, it's still wet, good. Right, pick this up. Because... As I swung the stone upright, I noticed it had left a pattern of holes in the sand. That pattern goes in there. So I've got to pick up whatever this is. I think it's plaster of Paris, isn't it? As I dipped my fingers into the soft white powder, I realized what it was. Plaster of Paris. Yeah. I'd used it in kindergarten to make casts of animal paw prints. Oh, pardon me. Right. Do, 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 do. You go here. Master Paris in there. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. 
I sprinkled the plaster on the sand until the holes were filled. Then we get the wet the get the wet there. We get the wet towel. Bring it to out. So the trickle of water was Paris quickly absorbed by the plaster. Then pick up the plaster of Paris. I eased the solid piece of plaster from the sand. Underneath, it had formed a perfect copy of the statue. Then... I placed my fingers and thumb into the holes in the wall. Nothing happened. Then we get this and put it in there. The hardened plaster cast fitted snugly into the five matching sockets. There was a soft thud, then silence. And the door will open. Right then, let's go in. And this is where the gem of Lochmar was found. That evening, back in Paris. Oh. Playing as Nicole. Right. By the looks of it, we have a message. I had messages waiting to be played. You, hooray! You have three messages. Ooh, three. Hey, Collard, it's me, your favorite editor. Uh, guess what? I'm gonna give you a second chance. I need somebody to write the TV column. Pays lousy, so what's new? If you're interested, drop by the office. In fact, drop by the office anyway. We have to talk, Nico. That story of yours I spiked. It won't go away. You've made some dangerous enemies out there. Hey, Nico, it's your old pal. I, I mean, your new pal, George. Whoa, Ireland. <laughs> it's a whole different country. And I got some amazing news for you. Gem of a story, in fact. Oh, oh, gotta go. Yeah, fella here's got a drink lined up for me. See you tomorrow, Nico. Sloncha. Yep, only here for a day and I'm speaking the lingo like a local. Mademoiselle Coulard, <laughs> this is Imelda Carchon. I wanted to thank you for being hey, so Imelda. understanding when... Come to lunch, why don't you? Tomorrow. I might have more news. There's a Monsieur Merlon coming to see me this evening. He says he oh, knows dear. why Pierre was murdered. In fact, he'll be here shortly. I shall let you know what he says. Goodbye, dear girl. Till tomorrow. Oh, mm -hmm. dear. Oh, my God. Merlin's the killer. I'd better get over there and mourn her now. When it came to being two-faced, Imelda was up there with the best. I owed her nothing, but I couldn't just let her die. I'm coming, Imelda. I arrived to find the Palais Royal courtyard deserted. I only hoped that I'd beaten the assassin here. I had to warn Imelda before it was too late. Can I play with this? Yeah. I unhooked the first wire. I released the second wire. Even oh, with both fall. wires removed, the statue remained upright. God damn it. Push. Push the damn thing. Oh. If I could deconstruct this, I could deconstruct anything. Right. Let's go see him out. <laughs> Anarchy. Door is locked. Locked? No way was I going to break through a door like that. The bell. The intercom system wasn't working. Bad sign. Somebody had cut the wire. All right. Let's use the makeshift ladder. The plastic sheet was thick and strong. I'd need more than my hands to tear it. There we go. There we go. The elephant could do it. Uh, hinge it. Um, no. The window had been repaired mm. with industrial plastic sheeting. Hmm. Could I use this? Um, no. 
Okay. Can we use this? Aha. Reach round and we're in. Island about? Emelda. That should be in the other room. My god, I'm too, too late. late. Imelda. Oh no. I oh, know she's alive. Nico? Don't worry, you're going to be alright. You know that isn't true. It was Merlin, wasn't it? Dressed as a cavalier. Absurd. You came to warn me, didn't you? I must be crazy. Let me see you, Nico. All this time you were just using me. Which one is the real Imelda? You are an extraordinary girl. Thierry would have been so proud of you. You didn't know my father. So like him. Something about the eyes. I wish we'd had time to get to know each other. She knew she everything. Was she cheated me, lied to me, used me. But why? Search her corpse. Even in death, Imelda looked the same. Beautiful, inscrutable. The Ice Queen alone in her ice palace. I opened it. Hey, key. Inside was a tiny gold key. Doesn't look gold to me, it looks silver. I took the key. I had to leave. I knew I could never return. What's the key for? That can't that I can't remember. Oh where the chest. That box. This box. Never been opened. The box was carved by my father. It never had a key. The elephant on the lid was a perfect match to Cochon's. Key. I took out the key. I couldn't believe it. Imelda's key opened my father's box. I Strange. dreaded what I was going to find inside. It's a picture of Imelda. It was a photograph of Imelda. But why here? In my father's box? I felt as if a black hole had swallowed me up. Imelda and Carchon grinning. While behind them a village was being razed to the ground. Its people butchered. And there, next to them, staring out at me across the years, my own father. Dun, dun, dun. There was a letter. I feared there was even worse to come. Please don't be, please don't be caught. Hotel St. Georges, Algiers, Friday. My darling Thierry, by the time you read this, you'll be safely out of Africa. You need not fear. Pierre and the organization do not know who you are really working for, or about us. Did you think I would betray you? I could not. You wanted me to leave him, but I don't have your courage. I know too much of what has been going on here. They would find me and they would kill us both. Enjoy your life in Paris, Thierry. Your life of honor, of patriotic duty. Do they give medals to spies? No, they'll just give you a phony job in an embassy somewhere. I could never share that with you. Imagine me, a diplomat's wife. So I must stay here with Pierre, the two of us bound together by what we have done to this country. Au revoir, my love. You will be in my heart until I die. Imelda. Suddenly everything made sense. She was my cheating. father had been working undercover for the government. He was one of the good guys after all. Hooray. He and Imelda must have fallen in love. She'd found out who he really was, so he had to leave. It had broken her heart, but she had never revealed it to anyone. I knew I couldn't either. Whatever he was doing, he'd had good reason to keep it secret. I decided I would respect that. 
and tell nobody. In other words, that has nothing to do with the main story. All the codes, all the deciphering, pointless. <laughs> 